Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Example number four here is related to the applications of mass conservation equations. Water flows in the pipe system as given in the figure below. At C, the pipe branch into two parts such that the discharge in pipe CD is twice that of pipe CE. So we are asked to determine the volume flow rate and mean velocity in pipe AB and then the volume flow rate in pipe BC and the diameter of pipe CD and then the mean diameter in pipe CE here. So the water enter at point A and then after that there is an, a flow enlargement at point B here. And then at point C, the water will divide into two branches through pipe CD and pipe CE such that the discharge in pipe CD is twice that of the discharge in pipe CE. So let's consider schematic diagram. So we are given that the diameter pipe between AB is equal to 50 millimeter. And then we are also given the velocity in pipe BC is equal to two meter per second. And also given is the diameter of pipe BC, which is equal to 75 millimeter. Then we are given the velocity in pipe CD that is 1.5 meter per second and the diameter of pipe CD is also given is 30 millimeter and then given that the discharge in pipe CD is equal to twice the discharge or the volume flow rate in pipe CE and the flow is actually incompressible why? Because we are using water and the flow is steady. So what we are asked to find, we are asked to find the volume flow rate in pipe BC as well. And then volume flow rate in pipe AB. Right? And then we are also asked to find the velocity in pipe AB. And then number four is diameter in pipe CD and then the velocity in pipe CE. So these are five values that we are asked to calculate. So first of all, let's consider this part of the pipe. So consider control volume consists of a, B, and C. So if I draw this, this is A, and this is B, and this is C. So this is our control volume. This is our control volume. So the volume flow rate here is V dot A, B, and then volume flow rate R is V dot B, C, right? V, B, C is given, is equal to 2 meter per second. Then D, B, C, the diameter of pipe B, C is also given, is equal to 75 millimeter. So the first things that we ask to find out is V dot B, C. So basically we know that V dot B, C is equal to V, B, C, a, B, C. And both of these values can be readily calculated because the velocity and diameters are given. So basically this is equal to 2 and then the area is pi 0 0.075. That's the diameter which is given divided by square divided by 4. So that gives us 0 0.0088 meter cube per second. In the second part, we are asked to calculate the volume flow rate 
here for a b so if we apply steady flow mass conservation equations in control volume a b and c so we can write this is the general equations flow rate in minus flow rate r must be equal to zero so that means that uh, since we have only one inlet and one exit, so V dot AB minus V dot BC uh, must be equal to zero, then this gives us V dot AB must be equal to V dot BC. So we have already calculated uh, volume flow rate BC, so that's just equal to 0 0.0088 0 meter cube per second. Next, we can now calculate VAB since the volume flow rate to AB is already calculated. So we know that V dot AB must be equal to V AB A AB. So this means that we can get VAB readily, which is equal to V dot AB divided by A AB. So let's give a 0 0.0088 divided by pi 0 0.05 squared of 4. So that gives us 4.5 meter per second. Now we have already calculated the volume flow rate through BC, volume flow rate through AB, and then velocity through AB. Okay, the next values that we need to calculate are the diameter of pipe CD and then the velocity in pipe CE. So for this, we need to consider this control volume, then apply the steady flow mass conservation equations. So if we apply, apply steady flow mass conservation equations to control volume consists of P, C, D, E. So we have a, this is point P, this is C, this is D, and this is E. And this is our control volume. So we have volume flow rate coming here, V dot P, C, and volume flow rate going out here. V dot CD and then the volume flow rate going out here, V dot CE. Right. So if we apply steady flow mass conservation equations here, so we have uh, the general equation first of all, volume flow rate in minus volume flow rate out must be equal to zero. So this means that volume flow rate in must be equal to volume flow rate out. Then we can write volume flow rate in is equal to V dot B C and this must be equal to V dot C D plus V dot C E. But we know that V dot C D is given and is equal to 2 V dot C E. Okay, or this is indicated V dot C E is equal to V dot C D or two. Right. So now we can substitute V dot C E into steady flow mass conservation equations. I call this equation one. So what we got is V dot B C is equal to V dot C D plus V dot C D over two, which is three V dot C D over two. So this allows us to calculate V dot C D, which is equal to V dot B C multiplied by two over three. So that gives us zero zero eight eight multiplied by two over three. So that gives us value of zero point zero zero five eight seven meter cube per second. And we know that V dot CD is actually equal to VCD 
multiply by a c d which is b c d multiply by y d c d squared all four so we can arrange in order to get d c d which we need to calculate so this gives us d c d which is equal to square root of four three dot c d divided by i v c d so substituting the value so we have four multiplied by 0 0.00587 divided by pi divided by 1.5 meter per second so this gives us a diameter of 0 0.0706 meter so we have dcd the diameter of pipe cd is equal to 70.6 millimeter in the last part of the equations, we are asked to calculate the velocity in pipe CE. So in order to calculate that, we need to first of all calculate the volume flow rate in pipe CE. So the volume flow rate in pipe CE is equal to the volume flow rate in pipe CD divided by 2. So that is equal to 0 0.00587 divided by 2. So that gives us 0 0.002935 millicube per second. So by using the formula for the volume flow rate, volume flow rate CE is equal to VCE ACE. So this will allow us to calculate the velocity in pipe CE, which is equal to volume flow rate in pipe CE divided by the area of pipe CE. The diameter is already known, is given. So that gives us volume flow rate in pipe CE divided by pi dCE squared over 4. So substituting the value, we'll get 0. 0, 0, 0.002935 meter cube per second divided by pi. Diameter of pipe C is 0 0.03 squared divided by 4. So that gives us velocity in pipe C is equal to 4.15 meter per second.